place that handles food is going to be considered a sensitive account, all right? So we have to remember that when we're dealing with anything handling food, subject to all sorts of laws, we know that, health department, things like that, but also a lot of times there's going to be company standards, okay? Sometimes company standards are tougher than, than even the regulatory standards, okay? So we remember these are sensitive accounts. If you, if you work in the city, you might have a different set of rules than if you're working somewhere else. But regardless, follow the rules of course, but regardless, these are sensitive accounts. And these are what we want to keep an eye on. We're taking a look, we're talking about restaurants here, all right? We're talking about areas that have a lot of people in and out, they're coming in for a good time. They don't want a bad time, all right? Anybody ever have a panic call from a restaurant that's not your customer? Of course, it happens all the time, okay? So many times in retail, food's a little bit different from food manufacturing. I might say it's a lot different because in retail food, so many times calls are generated because there's a problem already. When you're dealing with manufacturing, you know, some a bakery or whatever it might be, a large bakery, you know, they have to have a program in place. But sometimes we get these calls and it's gonna be a panic call. And you can also have customer complaints if somebody says, hey, I just saw, saw a rat running across. You know, I have to tell you, there's a story in Washington, D.C. that the Atlanta Braves went to play the Washington Nationals in Washington, D.C. And they were having a wonderful steak dinner at a really up upscale steak restaurant um, downtown Washington, not far from the White House. And a rat ran across the floor and somehow ended up running across the table. Now, baseball players have to have pretty quick reactions, wouldn't you say? Catch the ball. If somebody took a fork and went, boom, right, in, right through the road. Well, that probably made a bad situation worse, okay? And so, this, this is customer solvents. This is the type of thing we want to avoid. Where we really want to have a good day is when we have regular service. And sometimes that's going to be a situation that's going to be really, uh, really hard to, uh, um, you know, you want to sell that account, you want to have regular service, you want to keep it going and hopefully eliminate those panic calls. But remember, if you go to a Walmart and they have Subway in there, that's good service, all right? So we're going to focus on, on this type of operation. Then you have the grocery stores, you have big box stores, you have the corner stores. When you focus on the restaurants, everything else is going to follow. And again, I want to talk about staying in your lane, you know? We're, we're not health department inspectors. Not out there. I, I, I cringe when I see a pest control service report and it says food safety sanitation report. That's not what we do, unless you're trained for it, okay? I, I just want to caution you if you have service tickets that say food safety sanitation audit or, or food safety inspection, uh, you might want to consider that again because that's a huge liability. Because the rules are so different and they're so expansive in terms of temperatures and what you have to do. Can somebody just go to a local store and pick up something and start doing their own work? I'm not talking about commercial, I'm talking about at home. Yeah, it's not hard to find products. You can get them online, you can get them just about anywhere anymore, right? You can get the aerosols at the grocery store. Uh, so it's, it's not, really, uh, not really hard to get products to do your own work. So what do we bring to the table? As I said before, we're bringing that, we're bringing that expertise to the table. And that's what we're selling. And that's why transitions are so important. Transitions are bringing us to the new level of that customer service. And when they say teach me, we can say we'll teach you for sure. 